Hey folks, welcome to the Do It Yourself Dad channel. Today's the first warm day of the season we've had so far, and I wanna go in that thing. But the problem is that thing hasn't caught up to how warm it is outside. Let me show you, I'm gonna throw my little thermometer in the pool, show you what the water temperature is. Now, I don't know if you can see that the water temperature inside the pool is 70. Now, I guess you could say that is warm enough to go in, but I'm a wuss, I want it to be like 80. So I made that thing over there, and I'm gonna show you that in a second. That's a solar heater that I made for under 25 bucks. So this is at our solar heater. We've got some black hose coiled up here. We've got a pump running water up and a pump running water out. I made this for about 25 bucks. Your mileage may vary depending upon if you've got to buy a pump or not. Um, you may be able to run this off the pump you have. And we all know black heats up in the sun. So this is working the same way those expensive heaters would go that go on the roof of your house. But this thing only cost me about 25 bucks to make and a trip to the hardware store. I've got all the parts listed down below in the description. If you need them, you can also order them online. I've got those links too. But before we show you how to make it, let me show you how well it works. Now you remember how well, how warm the uh, water was in the pool? This is the outflow here. And we're dumping out about 97 degrees of water coming out of that thing. So we're jumping this thing up about 30 degrees. That should heat up the pool really, really fast. So building this thing is really easy and you can get the basic parts of this for under $25 or so. That right there is the core of the project. That's what's gonna be doing the heating. That is some irrigation hosing. That's 200 feet. We picked it up for 17 bucks. The other thing you're gonna need is something like this. This is a connector. This will connect it to the pump that I'm using. It just depends on what kind of pump you're gonna use. You'll have to select what kind of connector you want. Now I've also got some wood here because I'm gonna be building a frame so I can lay this out in the yard and put it in the shed when I'm not using it. That's gonna be a four by four sheet of plywood. You can get that already cut as a four by four sheet or you can get it as a four by eight and cut it down yourself and you'll need some other pieces of wood, some hardware and whatnot. But you can really knock this thing together in maybe an hour, probably less in the garage. And I've got a link to the hose and this stuff in the description below if you wanna order it online. So let's get started. So we're gonna start the project by building out the frame. That's gonna be uh, putting the pieces of wood around the edges to give the piece of plywood a little bit of rigidity. And after that, we're gonna put a, a little bit of wood right in the middle to hold up the piece of wood that we're gonna use to hold down the hose. Once that piece of wood is in place, we'll put the T across the top of it, and then we're gonna start winding the hose around it. You wanna be careful not to put any kinks in the hose, that'll restrict the water flow but you wanna wind it as tight as you can so you can fit as many coils. The more coils you can fit, the more length of black pipe, the more heat you're gonna get. Once that's all done, you can secure it down and put the hose ends on. And now we're ready to go back to the backyard and show you how this thing works. So now with it built, all you need to do is hook it up. So we've got the thing up here. You could also put it on the ground. I don't have hoses long enough right now, but uh, right now I've got the pump down there in the water, pumping water up, coiling around, and then coming back out into the pool right here. And we showed you how warm that was at the beginning of the video. So hey, if this video helped you out at all, let me know down in the comments. Let me know what kind of results you're getting with your pool. Give this video a great big thumbs up and be sure to hit that subscribe button. That really, really helps out the channel. And of course, thanks for watching.